So today is Tuesday, July 3rd, and I want to put some malorganite down. I've just mowed this section in a double-double pattern for tomorrow, July 4th. So I want to put down the malorganite, and I want to put down some RGS and some humic acid with the kelp and the fulvic acids. So let's get this on. So I'm going to put this down at heavier than bag rate. So check out what happens when you leave the hopper open and you put a bag of malorganite in the hopper of the spreader and you end up with a big old pile of malorganite right there on the lawn. So this right here, it smells like success. So So I see that I'm gonna be putting about one and a half pounds of nitrogen per 1,000 feet. That is a lot of nitrogen and I don't normally do that, but I'm feeling it. I'm gonna go for it with the malorganite. So I've got two bags of malorganite in this hopper. The spreader set pretty heavy. I'm just gonna start going down with the malorganite. Right in the middle of throwing her down someone comes by on one of those four-wheel bikes and says is that grass real I said sure is he says looks good man okay let's see if i can get three bags of malorganite in this Hopper. I don't know if that's gonna fit. It's pretty full there. I don't think that's gonna fit. I'm certainly gonna try it. So it fit just a little over two and a half bags, and it's heaping. I was secretly hoping that I could get three bags in there. Throw her down! It's poo. It's human poo. So I want to put down some of this RGS. I've got fulvic acid, humic acid, and sea kelp e extract. I bought this RGS with my own money. I believe in humic acid. I've been putting it on my lawn for several years, and I believe that it's a good product. There might not be a lot of data to back it up, but I believe it's good. It conditions the soil, and my lawn's green. It's greener than anybody else's in the neighborhood, and I put a lot of humic acid on my lawn. For years I've been putting it down in a granular form, but now I've started putting it down in this liquid form, and I'm a believer in it. So some people think it's snake oil, but I don't. So I'm shooting for six ounces per thousand on this section, and so that I've got 7,500. So if I just do six times seven, I'm gonna do about 45 ounces over this 7,500 square foot section. So the humic acid also kind of stains the lawn a little bit, kind of gives it that darker look. So I just want to show you as I'm spraying this, how it makes the grass look darker. So it's really just a black carbon liquid that's on the leaves that makes it look dark. But if, if you mow it a few times, that goes away. And so as you spray this on, it just makes the grass look darker. And I want to show you that as I'm spraying. So as I'm spraying, I want you to look at the color difference of the green to see if it looks darker, because this stuff is basically black. So it's kind of gonna stain the grass and make it look like it's darker. It's kind of a false sense of perception. <laughs> It 
really look that dark this time, actually. Not sure why. I didn't put any iron in there. Didn't put anything else other than the RGS. And the reason I'm doing the RGS right now is because I just put a nitrogen source down. So if you do the humic acid and the nitrogen source at the same time, that is the most ideal way to be putting down fertilizer and or humic acid. They both work hand in hand and they complement each other. So if you're gonna put down humic acid, you're always gonna wanna put down some nitrogen, so. So there it is, I sprayed this section with the RGS and put down the Melorganite. Put it down at about six ounces per thousand. Used about 12 gallons of liquid. Went over this section about two times in two different directions. So that should be real good for the lawn and the humic acid and the fertilizer should work together and kick some major butt. So all of that I'm doing to clean this sprayer out is just filling it up with water, running it through, filling it up with water and running it through until it runs clear. A little bit of water and a little bit more RGS is kind of getting in this area, but it's not too much and it's really nothing to really worry about. And I'm kind of spraying the residual RGS on this little flower patch that I've got. I've got dahlias growing in there. They kind of got a late start, but I'm really crossing my fingers I'm gonna get some awesome blooms in that little flower bed right there. So humic acid for me is an awesome deal. Like I said, I've been using it for about three years and I believe in it. If you feel like the Green County stuff is snake oil, then by all means, don't buy it. Buy it from somebody else. But I think it's a good product and I think they've, you know, refined the process well to make it into an awesome product. So I bought the RGS with my own money and you know, I believe in it so much that I'll continue to buy it with my own money and put it down. So the, the deal with the humic acid is that it's not gonna happen overnight. You don't just put it down once and expect awesome results. You gotta put it down several times a year or maybe twice a year, maybe once in the spring and once in the fall, every year for several years and eventually the soil becomes better and better and you get the root cycling effect that the grass factor talks about it, it, it just gets better and better and better. And so a lot, I, I feel like a lot of people rag on humic acid because they put it down and say, well, it didn't do anything. Well, that's because it's not like a fertilizer. It, it's not fertilizer. So I don't know if you guys saw that Kentucky bluegrass roots video where it had seven inch roots. You know, I've been putting humic acid on my lawn for a lot of years and I would contribute some of those long roots to the humic acid. I think it's a great product and I recommend buying it and I don't, I'm not getting anything from anybody to say that. I believe in humic acid and I think it's worth your time. The Green County, maybe, maybe not, but I like it. So, so I want to wish you guys a happy 4th of July. You know, the USA is a great country and I'm happy to live here and I'm grateful for the freedoms that we enjoy. So anyways, that'll do it for me tonight. I appreciate you guys watching these videos and I will see you in the next one.